Roll call, please, Rudy. John Dooley. Here. Jim Cruitt. Horace Reese. Here. Don Whipple. Yes. Bill Arces. Here. Approval uh, of the agenda. Anything needs to change or edit? Aviation Commissioners, Monday, October 26, 2015. President Bill Arces called the meeting to order at 7 p.m. Board members present were Oris Reese, John Dooley, Jim Pruitt, Don Whipple, and Bill Arces. Paul Schaefer of BFNS, Airport Manager Jerry Scheidler, and Airport Assistant Manager Bernie Green were also present. Judy Kurt performed the duties of secretary. The meeting agenda was reviewed. A motion was made by John Dooley and seconded by Don Whipple to approve the agenda as published. The motion passed unanimously by voice vote. Judy Kurd read the minutes from the September 28, 2015 regular meeting. A motion was made by Don Whipple and seconded by Jim Pruitt to approve the minutes as read. The motion passed unanimously by voice vote. John Dooley read the financial report. Old business. Bill Arsis reported that the ramp resurfacing and excess road repairs are complete. A question was raised by Don Whipple about sealing the blacktop. Paul Schaefer stated that the P401 mixture doesn't need to be sealed unless there's damage to the paved surface. The FAA recommends sealing every three to five years. New business. Paul Schaefer reported on three punchless items received from the FAA as a result of the recent inspection of the resurfacing project. Number one, progress estimate number one, to pay the contractor a total of $66,141.92. Number two, federal pay request number two, on AIP number 11 grant for 90% reimbursement of $63,202.17. Number three, work not yet completed, fill dirt around the perimeter of the project, seating and painting. Payment will be submitted next month for these items. Also, drilling cores were replaced too high and need to be corrected. Samples tested okay. Jim Pruitt made a motion to request reimbursement from the FAA and upon receipt of the reimbursement funds, process the payment of $66,141.92 to the contractor. Horace <coughs> re-seconded the motion. The motion passed by roll call vote 5 to 0. Bill Ritzis will sign the documents to be returned to the FAA. The bills were presented for approval to pay. John Dooley made a motion to approve the payment of bills. Don Whipple seconded the motion. The motion passed unanimously by roll call vote 5 to 0. Civil Air Patrol, Major Robert W. Fries, Major uh, Civil Air Patrol, Director of Operations and Legal Officer, spoke to the board to announce that the Greensburg Municipal Airport has been selected to be the newest regional location of the Civil Air Patrol. Also attending the meeting were Major Keith Clapp, Group 12 Commander, and Captain John Donaldson, Squadron Commander. There were no comments from the board. There being no further business before the board, Oris Reese made a motion and John Dooley seconded the motion to adjourn the meeting. The motion passed unanimously by voice vote and President Bill Ernstis adjourned the meeting at 7.32 p.m. The next meeting is scheduled for Monday, November the 23rd, 2015 at 7 p.m. at City Hall in Greensburg, Indiana. Any 
additions or corrections? I move to accept the minutes. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. President, if I will, we got a call from our board attorney, Don Trivet, just a minor correction in the minutes that have already been approved from uh, Monday, September 28th. Um, it's a minor under old business. Uh, they were talking about the O'Mara project. It's, it's the motion passed by voice, voice vote, and to be complete, we'd like to amend that to the motion passed by voice, voice vote five to nothing. And uh, we can. That was a recommendation by our attorney, and I'd like to move that we just make that minor correction. alteration or correction of the minutes from the Yeah, I a motion to change it. I've moved. I've moved. Second. Yes. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Unanimous. Five zero. Okay. John, do you want to read the financial report, please? financial report from the Greensburg Municipal Airport. We have the three separate accounts for the airport in the airport improvement account. Our balance year to date is $41,120.71. In our aviation rotary fuel account, $92,990.90. In our airport operations account, $180,054.31. Uh, the total of all three airport Accounts combined three hundred fourteen thousand one hundred sixty five dollars ninety two cents. Okay. Old business, Civil Air Patrol. Do you all have anything you'd like to say to us? Yes, yeah, Mike. Uh, just to let you know that uh, there, there is an airplane now based out here at the airport. Uh, I think Mr. Gooley saw it um, last week. Yes. Last weekend, last Sunday, yeah. I think. Um, it's a it's an 85 model 172 uh, it's not exactly a class cockpit but it's it's very similar um, so it's got some advanced avionics in it um, it's been refurbished new engine new interior new paint uh, so it's basically a brand new airplane except for the airframe itself so that's all I got Captain Donaldson you got anything you want to add? All right I, I do want to say thank you especially to Jerry Scheidler, who's, who's uh, been very helpful in, in helping us uh, get this done and, and get everything processed. And, and thank you to you guys for being so swift and, and taking us in. Sure. So, appreciate your help. Okay. Um, how, many, uh, how many flights are you anticipating being made per um, week? Uh, that's going to vary depending on the time of the year and what kind of missions we got going on. In the summertime, um, we do quite a lot at, as a group or as a wing we do quite a lot because we have a fairly extensive counter drug program um, so there's flights every day coming out of somewhere uh, multiple times a day or, or multiple multiple flights a day I should say um, but it you know it may be from Greensburg uh, Greenwood and South Bend today and it may be you know Greenwood and Terre Haute and Michigan City tomorrow so it, it just depends on what the, the mission needs are on that particular day um, we do cadet orientation flights um, and we, we tend to ramp those up or try to ramp those up a little bit in the winter time because there's not as much else going on um, to conflict with you know with the other missions that were running at, at the time so um, this past weekend we actually had a, a uh, tri-wing uh, training exercise with Ohio and Michigan um, that was actually held at, at the Coldwater Airport uh, up in Michigan just north of Fort Wayne a little bit but those are the kinds of things that we do um, and it's not out of the question that with your approval at some point that we may ask to, for permission to, to hold a training exercise here. Um, those usually, in a weekend, um, you're usually looking at a couple thousand dollars in fuel sales. So, How much, uh, are, you, are you planning on buying fuel here? Or you yeah, so yes, absolutely. Um, in fact, we've already tried to and ran into a problem, and I, I think it's our AvCard that is the problem. Uh, the first time we tried to use it, the machine won't take it. It keeps t telling us that the transaction can't be processed. Um, but when I use my, my personal card, it, it works just fine. So uh, we're right now we're waiting on a replacement card to come in the mail. So that's it. All right. Thanks, sir. All right. Thank you. Along those lines with the Civil Air Patrol, again, we've learned a lot about it. Last month of the aircraft is provided by the United States Air Force. 
The U.S. Air Force provides uh, money for the maintenance of this aircraft uh, for civil air patrol usage. Um, you know, they're a big asset to the community. They're involved in search and rescue missions, disaster relief. They have their program with the local cadets. Um, all other Indiana communities, of course, this is up to the, up to the board's discretion, but all other Indiana communities uh, provide zero rent for the C, for the CIP except for Greenwood, I guess, charges half rent. Um, FAA does allow NIPIUS airports, uh, they're pretty stringent as far as treating everybody the same, but they do allow an exception for um, Civil Air Patrol, and I would be interested in proposing a motion that we uh, have a have our contract at zero dollars rent for the Civil Air Patrol. <coughs> if anybody else had any other thoughts along those lines? We, we will have a contract with them. Yes, we will have a contract with them. Do we have a right there? Yeah, it's contract. I think that uh, Stacy's got at least a copy of it. She wanted an original. She got that. Correct. Right. I believe the original is on route. Okay. <laughs> yes, okay. But I think that's important to you know that even if it's a zero contract, we right. have a contract. Yeah, well, that's the point well taken. But we will have yeah, we will have a contract. We'll and like all the other contracts, it's uh, can be set aside with thirty days notice by either party. So. Uh, we also probably for insurance purposes need to make sure we have that. Okay. Um, I, you know, I, I think that uh, that's a good idea. Uh, I'm fully in support of that. I'll second the motion uh, to uh, discussion. extend that contract. Uh, we'll call the vote, do we? Chip Fritz? Yes. Horst Reese? Yes. Don Whipple? Yes. John Dooley? Yes. Bill Ernst? Yes. yes. Yeah, um, we have uh, officially closed out the uh, overlay project of the ramp. Um, we've got a pay request here, number three. Uh, for, so this is AIP uh, number 11. And uh, right now the, uh, the total of all the shares of paving and inspection and everything, 114000 $288.59. This partial pay request number three is for a federal amount of $18,624. State amount $1,034.69. Making your local share $1,035.10. So we'd be looking uh, for a uh, board uh, motion to uh, go ahead and submit this to the federal government and the state to get those uh, dollars rolling back uh, to the community. Um, Paul, the, our share, what, what uh, account does that come out of? Uh, we go, we go our share. That'll be on the airport approval. Is that the airport approval? And the grants are about ready to come back in my correct call within the next week or so. Yeah, so we'll enter this. We'll enter this into the system, uh, assuming you approve it this evening, and you'll have this money back in three days. Uh, and then there'll be a closeout process because uh, the lat. The, so the remaining on this grant will be eleven thousand two hundred ninety-five dollars and sixty-one cents. That'll be held for a while while the FA does an audit of the entire project, looking at, uh, at all the paperwork and the test reports and all that kind of stuff. Once they sign off on that, then they'll release the remaining 11,000 and change. Yeah, do we have to put anything to be signed? Yep, they'll be, uh, assuming you, make, you, you approve this, there's a partial pay request number three for the, the state paperwork and the federal paperwork here that's uh, uh, set up for signature by the Bill Arnston's president. I'd like to move that we authorize our president to sign those paperwork for those grant reimbursements. I'll second. Yeah. Motion second. Roll call vote, please, Judy. Bill Erstis? Yes. Jim Pruitt? Yes. Horace Reese? Yes. John Whipple? Yes. John Dooley? Yes. Okay. And the only other business is just an FYI, the uh, 
Aviation Association of Indiana, in conjunction with NDOT, has solicited state and local projects in the past years on the CIP, and uh, we've had those every year in the CIP. Uh, they they formally asked us to send uh, send that information on to the legislators this year to help emphasize the need for the project. Uh, this program hasn't historically been funded. Um, the last time it was funded in, was 1999. So this is just an attempt by the association and NDOT to try to emphasize to the legislatures that we need this program back in place, that there's projects that are needed out there. So um, there's no formal action of the board because you've already approved the CIP from last year. We just simply repackaged it in a, in a different format that they requested and forwarded that on. So that's just for information of the board. Uh, other than that, we still have not received any uh, comments back, uh, any written comments back from the FA on the environmental. Uh, however, we're hopeful that we will uh, any day now. Uh, so. Thank you for your time. Next approval bills. There are two, there are, of the uh, $80,000, there are two other. One for fuel, for MAP fuel, and the other one was the 66000 that we paid to Romero. Those are the two biggest chunks out of it. I guess that would be all the bills we come across. Uh, <coughs> yeah, any questions on this? Most likely a little failure to people who are here. So, the board manager. I move we accept them. Got a second? Second. Roll call, please, Judy. Jim Pruitt? Yes. Don Whipple? Yes. Horace Reese? Yes. John Dooley? Yes. Bill Ursus? Yes. Okay. Next on the agenda, we need to. Uh, Point two people to work with the Jackson County Bank the first part of December for renegotiation of our loan, uh, which we owe $386,072.04 on. And December the 12th, we have a payment of uh, $21,582.54. But we want to go ahead, if we can, before that, make arrangements for renegotiation. Bill, can I have uh, that figure again? Okay, three hundred eighty-six thousand seventy-two dollars and four cents. Bill, what did that start? A million six hundred twenty-five thousand. That's, that's, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. That's that's scheduled for renegotiation every couple of years. They simply just renew or perhaps modify the interest rate and in the amortize forward. Uh, when is the 21 5 due? Uh, it'd be 12 12. 12, 12. And uh, from 2010 to 2012, we had a 2.4% interest rate. And then when uh, John and I dealt with them, we, from uh, 13 to 15, it's 1.91. But I have no idea what will happen after this next negotiation. Refinance. Now, what year was it that the, uh, that the airport was bought uh, was purchased? 2007. 2007. December 2007. 2007? Yeah. I'm glad we're bringing this up because I was going to bring a question anyway. Do, how much money do we anticipate needing? We have $314 in, uh, in, in change. Do we need to have that kind of money in our account? I know we need to keep enough so that it's an emergency, but is there any advantage to keeping this loan active? The loan that works, can we pay it off as soon as we can? The loan? Yeah, I know it's a low rate, maybe we need no. to keep it forever. Uh, uh, well, we can pay some down on it. I'd say next year after we renegotiate, I think we can probably pay some down on it. But we need to look at it and see, see how much we think we need to have in reserve. We need to keep an adequate amount. Yeah. But I think we need to 
we need to do some assessment and some anticipation of yep. what we might need uh, in 16, how much money mm -hmm. we need to how much money are we going to need to do whatever we need to do. I'm hoping that we don't have too much more to do except the only thing, Jerry, correct me, be that South Taxiway. South Taxiway needs to have something done to refurbish it. Yeah. Is that the only thing that we need in Sikki? I'm not asking for an answer. Because I think there's always a few more, there's always a few more uh, hangar doors. Yeah, we, day, right? you guys had some discussion a year or so ago about replacing some of the hangar doors and like doing one or two a year and so far none of those have been out. We have six of them that we need to replace. Well, this are still the old crank up doors. Yeah. Yeah. I recall it's about 12 grand a piece or something like that. 12 or 14, wasn't it? I, I think 13 Seven. was the number he came up last. Of course, that's been a while back. I don't it's still a good number. Um, 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 yeah. That's pretty close. And maybe we need to spend our excess money on replacing as many hangers. I, I don't have an answer. I'm, I'm, just throwing out lot, I'm just throwing out a lot of questions out there. There's a couple of words that I think that are kind of critical. And that's on the south hanger because it's exposed to the wind and maybe the east was also exposed after that everything else you know, I, don't think, Bill, I don't think it makes any difference it comes right down to it uh very first two doors we ever lost was in between the two half rows of hangers <laughs> that's true you know so it just depends on the wind on a given day but i know when we lose doors and the roof blows off too, you know. Oh well. And uh, we got insurance but, but, part of that. Yeah, but it also oh. seems to damage airplanes. You know, the tenant that's his responsibility. Uh, that really don't know that matters. The thing is, we kind of tend to forget about these doors when we're not having any damage going on. And when yeah. it happens, we think, well, we need to get them fixed. But or, maybe yeah. we need to depend on you to uh, hold our feet, our feet to the fire. Is that what it is? Very little <laughs> torch along with me. Whatever. And, uh, because if we have the money, why are we keeping the money if we need to if we need to fix that hangar door? That's right. Yeah, we've been on a pace of doing about about one or two a year, so but we haven't the last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah last time we done it was that four right. Jerry, six. There's still six of the old cracking up doors. Some of them are uh, worse shaped than others, you know. As far as the exposure, that's another thing to consider, I guess, but you know that's less than hundred grand. I'd much better spend it on doors than I would spend it on the loan at this point. That's well, my opinion. Well, especially if the loan's 2%. What account does the loan have to be committed? The uh, airport improvement. So we'll probably need to move some money over it to the next year. What, uh, what money goes into that account? Why don't we transfer either from the rotary fuel fund or airport operation fund, which is where all our profits come from. That those two accounts, the fuel fund and the operation bill that comes out of the hand. Are we expecting to get any uh, additional money from the FAA in the next uh, you hope so. But we <laughs> they thing is anything we get comes after we have spent. Yeah. Because well, it's all we have sure. But it uh, is I mean Paul, do, do we, we have anything any left? that money to pay the, the loan? Or do we have any other uh, grants coming to us that you know of? Anything we have pending? Did we have something on legal fees? Uh, well, the only the only money available right now that's in an open grant would be about thousand dollars. Okay, and then, uh, for fiscal year sixteen, we'll have. Those are good questions to ask the horse as far as how much money we need in reserve, how much we want to pay on the loan, you know, and how much, you know, maybe we want to spend on doors, those things, kind of balance that out. It's going to be taking along those lines. Maybe we need yeah. to replace all the doors rather than put any more money on them. I just don't see a lot of point unless we're getting some big bucks on, on the interest of this, and I know you're, no one's getting any big bucks. So you just want to use the money. I think in October we got seven dollars twenty nine cents. Interest, yeah. I think we ought to all give that some serious consideration. Okay. Okay. We'll get it on the agenda sometime. Yeah. Why don't we do it for right after the first of the year? That'd be great. Okay. 
Okay. Now, uh, we need two people to volunteer to negotiate with. <laughs> John, do you volunteer? I mean, I'll do it, but I'll step aside if anybody else wants to be a volunteer. We did, I, we did it a couple years ago. I'll do this, we did it before. Oh, yeah. You'll help me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good to me. And you'll be dealing with uh, Austin Schultz. <laughs> I think I've met the man, but that's all right. And if you want, I can set up your uh, times for you, or however you want to do it. John, you can. Okay. I'm pretty well free whenever John is. Okay. Okay. Uh, comments from the board? Somebody make a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Second. All those